Well, uh, Gargi, you know, of course, there is a lot of pain and um, a lot of trouble all around. But in all these circumstances, there's also stories of hope. I'm being joined by a group of fishermen and the locals and the hero are these fishermen here who along with their boats, you can see the boat right behind um, this vehicle. It has been loaded. It's been loaded because the work here is over. Now, many, many people, hundreds of people from um, the uh, from the water bay, from from the, from in the interiors of Alapura, like Kutinad and all, they were actually rescued by fishermen on these boats. There are several boats like this lined up. We can't go further back because of connectivity issues. We'll not be able to do it live. But let's ask some people here, sir. Adhyam Pario. What is your name? My name is Adhyam. Where are you from? I'm from Pullapura. That's where you are from. So they have come from one part of Alapura. And where are you from? I'm from Pullapura. They have been here for three days. How many people have been rescued? I'm from Pullapura. So around 100 people have been rescued by them. Where are they from? Where are they from? Where are they from? Sarkar Bharati is here. They are here to help you. They are here to help you. They are here to help you. Okay, so the, 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 the government had told them that so many people are stuck in the interiors and therefore they should get their boats and they started cooperating. How many people are here to help you in a boat? They are here to help you. Around 25 people used to be brought at one time in a boat. Let's also talk to some other uh, fishermen here. Sir, they started at around 10 o'clock last morning. They reached here and started uh, rescue operations around 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh, so they've come from places like Tiruvannapuram, uh, which is, uh, you know, in southern uh, southern Kerala. They uh, they travelled by road for road. So they, they loaded their boats like this and travelled around five to six hours. That's it. That um, They are really the heroes who are now going. So they're going back home after they have rescued many lives. Um so around 8 in the morning they would start and they would come back around they would start around 6 in the morning and come back around 8 in the night and the arrangements for their food and uh, rooms and all was made by the government um so, um, he's saying that even the situation that they had witnessed in terms of once they would go into the interiors to get these people out was extremely tragic. They would be in the water, they would not have any food, they would be, you know, on top of their houses trying to get help. They would pack food from here and take it for them, give them and rescue them and bring them back. Every day, how many days has this continued here, the rescue operations here? Oru moona naal dosaat, every day oru sakta maay rescue operation naan. Namalay oru India kaaran na reediyile, Kerala yeran na reediyile. Nangku parayam oru Indian Navy kaarlam. Nangalay support idha, nangalay coastal mehal oru nangalay alka rana. Nangalay. Okay. So here is a heroic welcome and applause for the fishermen here. Many saying that they stood for them and they went to places where perhaps even other people of the forces couldn't go into. They were the first point of contact we must tell you the collectorate the collector the government officials all got in touch with them this was a combined effort where people from all walks of life they literally came together with one aim and that was to rescue people